first of all let me introduce myself myself ankit prajapati i am a automation engineer right and we have mr sanjay who is the creator of cropath and today we are going to discuss some challenges about the xpath when whenever we work on the automation right the first things we face the challenge uh, challenge is to locate the elements right sometimes we have the enterprise applications which are very dynamic from the developer and the designing side right so we face those types of challenges while working on the automation stuffs right so let me just share my screen so i can show you the things about just make sure you can see the screen right and okay so first of all let me uh, say a few things about the challenges i face to be honest while working on the xpath whenever we have the any dynamic element right so the dynamic element keeps changing every time so we face difficulty to locate them on each and every session right so for an example let me show you how you do the xpath for the normal normal uh, elements right so we have this website on, on in on in front of us so what i am going to do i am going to locate one of the link over here right so suppose i need to locate this uh, product link right so what normally practice we follow so we normally right click right click and just go to inspect right and under the element we check about that link right so over here you see if you go with the id by id by name or something like that we have the difficulty to identify this particular link so what i need to do i need to write the dynamic xpath over here so what i will do i will just press control f over here and start writing my xpath so what i will do i will just say double slash a right then what i need to find i need to find this particular word it's a product right so i will just say is i can use the contents i can use the text as well so i can just say is text method right product so again if you see over here we found two two elements is there for the same name product so if i just enter over here this one then we have the product at the bottom of the page as well right one we have on the top second we have at the at the bottom of the page so this this type of challenges we normally face when we work on the x path right so now the uh, mr sanjay right we will share his screen right and he will explain us how we can bifurcate such x path right how we can bifurcate these two elements right using the crow the crow path is one of the best tool i have ever seen right to identify the x path and we apply in the automation script right so sanjay can you do one thing can you just share your screen and can you just show your information over there i am just stop i i just stop sharing my screen now so you can share your screen sure okay thank you thank you yes so uh, thank you all good evening hope you all are doing safe and uh, safe at your home uh, the current situation is very bad so uh, uh, i'm not sure if you guys are able to see my screen uh, are you guys able to see my screen no it's uh, not visible not yet sure. Uh, not visible second. yet have you click on the share screen second uh, i'm um, just sharing just let me know once you are able to see my screen okay so uh, i guess now you would be able to see my screen yeah, yeah. it's just loading okay yeah. perfect just give it one minute let it load okay. first it will come come under the recording so that's the reason okay okay is it okay. loaded now yeah perfect sanjay you perfect. can go ahead okay okay so uh, as ankit was showing you guys uh, that for any element which you inspect in the dom or when you are looking here so just by looking at the dom like you see this element is tag name is a id is equal to class is equal to name is equal to this this is. but just by looking at the dom would you be able to know that you should use the should you use this id should you use this class or name we are not sure just 
by looking at the dom you can't we can't say that class is unique the name is unique right though those locators we uh, the, these are one of the type of locators but we don't know so that's why uh, we have introduced crow path and which can help you a lot just by single click from crow path you would be able to know that which locator you should use which locators uh, like for any locator what are their occurrences and all and uh, you might have noticed like when uh, uh like uh, i'm sure like you guys must have noticed when uh, ankit was inspecting and writing the xpath for this element products so you see he did uh, he did command f and then when he was typing let's say if we will be typing like this double forward slash a then as soon as you type a here you see that screen is scrolled up then again in the dom you have to uh, either you have to inspect that element again or you will have to scroll up and down so now we can see that href attribute is there item prop is there and text is there this products so what we will do we will write a text this is how you will be typing and you will see that uh, as soon as i type this text again this dom is scrolled and now we don't know like where is that element gone again we'll have to inspect this so so much pain is there even when we are writing our own x path so first just by looking at this we won't be able to know that which all uh, locators are possible for this selectors uh, somebody who just joined could you please go on mute so uh, looking at this you we don't know like which all locators we can use uh, and what are the their occurrences and while even if we are writing our own xpath then also it is there so many challenges so introducing cropath here cropath is an extension uh, so uh, here once you add it if it, if it is not with, okay ankit uh, can you just check who is on not on mute and just uh, request them to like go on mute yeah sure or if you have the i can uh, see dheeraj dheeraj can you just mute from your side yeah thank you very much yeah, thank you i think that will be fine yeah. okay so uh so here uh, once you added the cropath cropath is a browser extension and if you are not able to see cropath here it is it will be the last uh, side in the sidebar like style computed event listener and accessibility after this this will be cropath will be the last tab here or for the better visibility just expand it so you see the inspected element immediately you got to know that the this is the xpath for this element this is the link text like for this there are two occurrences of this link text partial link text two two occurrences so you can't use this link text uh, you shouldn't be use use this in your script so that's what it's highlighting like two times it is there in the page and then absolute xpath and then tag name so it gives you all those possible locators for any element like for this id is there class name is there so these are the unique unique css selector is there so you can use this one and it's also highlighting you see that in relative xpath is highlighting with the alert and it's telling you that looks look this id looks like dynamic because it is alpha numeric value and when you refresh the page it might get changed so don't use this relative xpath you can write either your own xpath or you can just id so when you will mouse over it will suggest what you need to do so you just uncheck this it will generate without id and now again it's showing so it might be class is also alpha numeric so you can uncheck this so there are options like to, for you to generate uh, x, x path with your own choice like for this element it is generating with id and text but you don't want with text so you can uncheck this and if you don't want to generate with class you can un uncheck this so those are the options here and if you want to generate with your own attribute like you want to generate with item prop you can pass that uh, attribute here rishi uh, rishi can you mute from your side rishi okay so once you uh, if you want to generate xpath with your own attribute so you can pass that attribute name here in this box and press enter it will generate the attribute with your own attribute the one which you pass and if that is not available for any field then it will go with something else so these are the couple of options which you can try and it will help you a lot and if you have to type your own xpath so you 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 have seen that when when you are typing xpath for this element here it was scrolling up and down but when you will write your own xpath here in crow path that is so easy you see double forward slash a then you are typing easily text is this so you see it's not scrolling you have the better view here and you are typing it
it here and you can write it easily without any stress and time waste so that you can type it here and press enter immediately you got to know that there are two matching nodes and you got the those elements here as well so that's how Propath helps a lot while editing and while generating it both so you can use it for writing because like let's say if you are a beginner and you want to learn how to write the xpath and all Cropath can help you a lot while writing your own xpath and can save a lot of stress and time for you because now you have both the matching nodes here immediately now you can look that this is the first matching node so i have to uh, make an x unique xpath for this element and it also highlighted here in the ui as well and if that element is somewhere hidden you see the second matching node is this one if it is somewhere hidden and when you will mouse over on this it will scroll that in the view will area you see this this product is uh, putting up in the front like this okay so moving on there are like a lot more features this was just an uh, beginning and very basic feature of Cropath. So that's how you see this is this uh, which you are seeing on my screen. This is a dark theme. You can also uh, use this dark theme. Is there is a basic setting on Dev2, so you can check that how to set the dark theme. Now, how to install Cropath? This is very simple. You, you can just go to autonomic.io/cropath, and from there, for whichever browser you want to install, you can install for Chrome, Firefox, Opera, and Edge browser. The current version is 6.0, which is currently available on Chrome and Edge browser. On Opera and Firefox, 5.0 is available, and very soon it will 6.0 will be available on both all the four browsers. Currently on Chrome and Edge is available. What are the advanced feature there in Cropart? So you, I'm not sure like how many of you are writing page object model or framework or anything. Uh, of course, like everybody used to write the automation script. So, but we waste a lot of time writing a script. Can we save that time? Like uh, if you're writing page object model or any kind of framework, which used to where you are wasting a lot of time because you see, let's say you are writing a script, uh, sorry, uh, something like this driver dot find element by dot uh, x path and then something like this okay then if you have to uh, but you have to write this kind of script then how you will be doing driver dot find element by dot x path this you will be doing every time right and then you will copy x path from here copy and paste it and then you do that other stuff whatever you do what if Tropath gives complete thing complete this thing for you and you will not have to do anything you just turn on this command you see okay so there's a default button default setting hit enter so now basically what i was trying to see like you got this x path you just click on this turn on this command and the command is there you copy this come back here in your editor and you see this command is ready no you need not to type if you have to like let's say you have to write this command for some other element you click on copy and paste it here and that's how you uh, your script is getting ready automatically in without wasting any time you see and that's so that's so cool and very easy incredible features are there like this and this command is not fixed uh, you you need not to worry if you're writing in uh, python java selenium cucumber whatever technology whatever framework you are using whatever language you are using don't worry all kinds of uh, frameworks and language it used to support if you're writing page object model then also it, it used to support so what you have to do let's say you are writing at something like at find by so those kind of commands are there and uh, wherever you uh, so okay let me show you this example here many people used to write like this at find by x path like this right so what you have to do here you have to uh, just wherever you have written your x path replace that with x path value now copy this paste it here hit enter you got that command it makes so easy for you and this you can copy and use it in your framework right but still you have to like one by one you have to do what if you are writing page object model where you are writing all the locators like this in one page so in my previous company when i used to write the automation script i used to write the uh, my locator space in xml file like in this format where the xpath is written in key pair values like this is my key for this xpath which i will use call while uh, writing my script like products for this xpath uh, login for this xpath and all so how can we make it uh how can we complete this page just in like within one minute if you will be doing it manually it will take whole day right 
so let me show you how can you do this in within a minute what you have to do there is a record button here capture multiple x path click on this then now here you pass that script here the command so basically the command how you make the command here this is one time effort i will show you like wherever you are writing labels replace that with label value and wherever is the x path replace that with x path value if it is x path is inside double quote then replace uh, just x path not the double quote and pass this command here now you inspect these elements which for whichever you want to write the automation uh, locators so let's say here we want to write the locators for this page and there are few more let's say so now you will see that how fast it is getting ready here and there is a copy button copy all button you just click on copy button and you come back here you see the magic my page is getting ready and if i would be doing it manually it will take me whole day right so that's how it solves a lot your problem and uh, if you're writing like this kind of script let me show you how fast you can complete we can complete this page so there is a like this is a click to res reset all the config to default so if you want to uh, default setting or uh, let's say let me show you this command with this command because many many of you use this kind of command at find by x path so what you do replace this x path with x path value and you see wherever is the, your label is written replace with that label value now copy this command come back here and paste here hit enter you see all are ready your page is ready and come back here now you see the magic your commands are ready here you see the your page object model page is ready without any time waste everything is ready and if you want to generate these xpath without id or something so what you do is click delete all and you want to generate let's say without id because for id is unique uh, dynamic for your application you uncheck the id now you can inspect these elements and see the magic it is generating everything and this command command setup and all it was just one time effort next time when you will open cropath you need not to do anything this is saved in your local because for your framework that is that command is always fixed so now you come inspect and click 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 and there you go like without any time waste it is ready for you so these are like with uh, within few seconds or like within one minute you can complete your page locators page for page object model or any kind of like basic code for like if you're writing a normal test case suppose if you're in any interview or something like that or you you you're writing this kind of script let me show you how fast you can write it so there is a reset def click to reset default setting click on this it will come to the default setting click delete all if i have to write for this a test case to click on all these elements or get text or whatever you ask me how fast i can do it if you put your timer hardly i will take 20 30 second i will click on copy come back here my script is ready i can do whatever i do, whatever i want to do click i want send keys i want clear whatever you want to do you can do that so fast it is so that's how you can complete your script and test cases very fast by using this feature if you have any question or anything uh can let me look at the window here if you guys have any question or want to ask anything so i will be looking at this screen here uh, okay so there is no question if you have any question any suggestion any feedback so far you can ask here on the chat window i am looking at the chat window right now okay perfect so guys what we can do over here now let me just share my screen and i will show you something more on this one so sanjay i'm just sharing my screen sure okay okay guys so you can see guys over here we already in the in the x path right we already have the 
more than one lakh user now right and all of the rating are very good so what you can do you can just go through chrome as well and you can just install in your particular machine or browser right you see on the right side top you can see the crow path right and start using for your project and your framework because i have recently started for one of my company's framework and it is really it is really helpful for me to create the object repository when you say is about the x part right you always concerned about the object repository so it is very helpful and it is very quick as well so we can focus on the real coding stuff rather than locating the element on the on the x path right so this is very useful and this is uh, this is one of the blog we have started to write each and every about each and, each and every tools about the technology on testing side so what we have we, we are going to add the complete tutorial about the crow path as well right so it will be launched over here and i will share the link for that one as well but if you want to learn any other tools and technology you can also visit this particular slt learning online training institute and you can just get these tutorials free of cost no charge just try just come over here and start learning from that things okay so now if you have any questions for sanjay right so just ask him he will explain you how to utilize the crow path in the better way so it will be helpful for you guys in your current project or if you have any uh, challenge or something like that uh, yes okay. it is uh, i will be coming on that uh, like uh, you can write the manual test cases using cropa exactly so yeah. uh, i'm taking over the screen uh, ankit thank yeah, you sure, thank sure, you for sure, the sure. yeah sure, sure. i just wanted to add one more point like whatever you uh, said that was very correct and uh, let me know if you can see my screen so uh, like ankit mentioned there is like more than 1 lakh users so just wanted to uh, add one more point here like the whatever number you are seeing here that is 1 lakh plus so actually this used to show you like active users daily weekly active users so these many people like it is more than 160 plus uh, users who use actively like every week sometimes like you haven't used today so it don't count it is more than 6 lakhs now more than 6 lakh people has downloaded it and they are using it so it the uh, here at chrome it used to show the uh, weekly active users apart from this like more than 6 lakh people currently using it and more details coming on, on your way yeah so uh, this was the one feature that's how you can uh, generate the, complete the page object model within I think notes Sanjay, without have wasting you, any have you share your screen uh, yes i clicked on that okay i think you need to click again because i think we cannot see your screen one moment i'm just checking it i'm just checking okay take over okay we will not do this again <laughs> yeah yeah like no this. and now it's coming oh perfect it's coming now right oh, okay. okay yeah fine just so give me one minute uh, give me one minute i will confirm once it is loaded on completely on the screen but you know the everybody is working on the work from home so they are using the lots of internet like the meetings on all those things so that's a reason yeah mm -hmm. yeah is it loaded now yeah it is loaded now you can Perfect. go ahead yeah so next is like save all the config in local so uh, as i showed you guys like you need not to save those uh, you need not to set those command again and again if uh, if you have set this command once here it is always set set in your uh, crow path like if you have said that, that like id you don't want to generate x path with id or any attribute is specific attribute is there for you so it will be always there set for you here and you need not to set that again and again so that's really helpful cp will suggest the relative x path for user selector what it what it mean like let's say if you are a beginner or someone who really want to learn how to write the good x path and good selectors so in that case crow path will suggest now suggest you the better x path for your own x path so let's say you you are writing x path for this products and you you are in at learning phase so you type here a and x is equal to products right and now this this is something which is not uh, you hit enter and it's not unique so what crow path suggest you like crow path helps you here that x path for the first matching node of your element so without wasting any time you got the x path for the first matching node which is this products right and now you see how crow path has written you can see it here like how crow path has written so you can learn this way or let's say for example you have copied the x path 
uh, from here uh, let's say you copied the xpath for this element let me copy for this one download 6.0 for chrome so you do right click and there is an option copy copy xpath and you copied this xpath okay you paste let me paste it here so the xpath which you get from dev tools which looks like pretty much absolute and dynamic you see there are so many indexes and such a long xpath if you hit enter you see crow path gives you the cp suggested xpath we call it cp xpath this is the xpath for the first matching node this one so you got the xpath for this element but the same xpath what you have written or what you have got from dev rules you hit enter you got the xpath from dev uh, crow path and another best example is like let's say somebody asks you how many anchor text how many links on this page and give me the x path for the first matching node first link on this page let's say you are in an interview and somebody asks you give me how many links are there on this page and x path for the first link without wasting any time you can do this double forward slash a hit enter you got the 72 elements are there link text are there all the links here you got extracted and this is the x path for the first link text for the first link here sorry so this is the xpath for the first link on this page so that's how you uh, it helps a lot like this way option to generate the dynamics xpath with user attribute with text and without text so this i showed you guys like how can you uh, generate the xpath let's say you want to generate the xpath uh, without id or with text so if it is generating with class let's say you don't want to generate with class without id so that all options are here if anything is getting generated with text then you have that options option as well like you can generate without text and with text as well here in crow path <coughs> so all those options are there like here you see it is generating with text and you don't want to generate with text uncheck this it will generate without text it is very helpful in the case of like uh, e-commerce kind of web website like where pages uh, where price and uh, where price and uh, the product name changes very frequently so it's helped a lot like to generate xpath without text then cropath gives the iframe along with uh, iframe xpath along with the element xpath just in single click so there are like many scenarios where we waste a lot of time like uh, here you see Join CP community. This is the Cropath community page. You can join the Cropath community as well from here. So here you see if you have to write XPath for this, this element for this box. So what you will do, you will inspect this element. You will start typing here, right? And double forward slash input something like this. And then once you form the XPath for this element, you will use it in your script, right? But you will never check that whether this XPath is inside iframe or not until unless your script will not fail multiple times right so you we are wasting a lot of time today just to identify whether this x why this x is failing and if it is inside iframe or not so to help that we have introduced this feature now just by clicking inspecting this element you got everything so we were talking about this box you see you got the x path of iframe inside which this element exists and the x path for this element is this now just in single click you are getting everything here you see x path for this element and the x path for iframe so simple it is for you by just but otherwise you don't get to know that this element is inside iframe and you will waste a lot of time that way so this is how it saves a lot more time for you and that's why you, you might have heard like so many people calls x uh, crow path is a, a lifesaver and uh and unique innovation because it saves tons of time millions of hours for you unique x path for svg elements and svg child elements you know I, i'm not sure like how many of you know that uh even dev tools doesn't generate the uh, x path for svg elements uh, unique xpath for svg elements so if you look at here these are the svg elements so you know let's say if you have to click on this message box or you have to write the xpath for this message box so this is the element right and if you right click on this and copy xpath from dev tools and verify that you see that zero of zero it is showing it is not the unique one but if you open crow path here and you see you got the xpath for this svg element and even for the svg child element it makes life so easy this is a different kind of uh, 
pattern for XPath for SVG element, which CrowPath gives you. So now it solves your problem, which is very unique. There are more uh, example I can show you on SVG elements. So this icon, like this edit icon is the SVG element. This is, if you inspect this, you open CrowPath here. You see, this is the XPath for SVG elements you are getting. Relative XPath, CS selector, and absolute XPath, everything. Though if you copy it from DevTools, it will not be the unique. Uh, it will not be the unique. And if you will use that XPath which you got from DevTools, it will not work. That will be zero of zero. Moving on, a smart maintenance feature. This is one of the amazing innovation CrowPath has introduced this time, and uh, we are very excited about it. So you you, you have seen, let's say, uh, you're writing your automation script. And while maintaining, like writing automation script is not a tough task, but maintaining that script is so tough. Suppose uh, uh, for there is a small change happening in UI. And because of that, every time, uh, I mean, whenever there is UI change, look at us used to change. I, I know, like, I believe everybody, every one of you understand that. So suppose when we run the test case, it got failed for first element. What we will do, we will copy this XPath from our script. And I believe everybody used to do the same way. And then you will paste that XPath here and you will verify that whether this XPath is unique or not, right? And uh, that's how you will do it like this way. Then you fix this XPath. Let's say you fix this XPath. Then when again, again, you will execute this script, right? And now it got failed for this XPath. You will copy this XPath, you will come here and then you will verify this XPath here. Right, it is getting one of one, so which is fine now. So if it is getting like one by one failing, like first it got failed for this element, you fix this. Now it failed for this one, you fix this. Now it got failed for this one, you fix this. But again, it got so just to change or fixing like five, ten x path because you will not get in single sort how many x paths are failing now. So how to save that time, like? Verifying one by one all the XPath is so tough, right? Manually, you can't do it. So is there anything where you can verify thousands of XPath in single sort? There's no solution so far, but we have introduced this. What you have to do, nothing. You just select all, copy this. You need not to segregate XPath one by one. From here in CrowPath, there's a, a button you see, click for smart maintenance, click on this. There's a uh, click to paste all XPath, click on this. Now paste all the XPath here and what you have to pass here in the command. You come here, you see where we have written the XPath, we have written the XPath here. Okay, so what you do, you just replace this XPath with XPath value. And copy this part wherever you have written the XPath on top of that. Basically the command and it's just one time setup. And now you click on OK. It will fetch all the XPath and it will tell you like which all XPath are uh, finding one matching node and their occurrences. So you see this is fine, but rest of the XPath are showing 0, 0, 0. So we will fix them and we'll have to fix them. If it will be like more, more than one matching node, then you will have to uh, fix, uh, like you will have to fix them. There's, there are features like copy, edit, everything. So if you click on edit to fix this XPath, you can fix this and then again use it in your script like this. So there itself you fix and then you go back and use in your script. So it makes it a lot easier. Suppose like this is your script and it is getting failed. So what you do, you need not to segregate like this import statement and class statement at all. Copy this complete script. Come here in CrowPath. So let's say we have written this XPath for this page. So come here, click on edit button paste it here. So here you have written uh, here where we are, where our XPath is written, our XPath using this command driver.findElement, right? Copy this, paste it here and wherever is XPath is written, replace that with XPath value. Click on OK, you see it is showing all the matching. So like for input there are 10 matching nodes for this XPath 1, 0, 20. So what all, everything it used to tell you, and in just single sort, your complete script is verified. You can fix them immediately without wasting any time. It's saving a lot more time. And if you have like you want to verify just X path. So let's say if you have some of the X paths here. 
So let's say these are the X path you have and you just want to verify only X path. So only X path as well you can verify. So what you do, you can turn off this command. Let's say you have hundreds of X path here. You paste only X path here and click on OK. It will verify your X path, all of them. OK, so that's how it will help you a lot while using uh, writing automation script and uh, while development as well. If any question, I'm looking at the window. Uh, if you have any question, uh, you can ask. I think Sanjay, uh, Siris has one question that how we can write the manual test case using the acro path, right? Yes, yes, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming to that part, oh, yes. Oh. Please paste the blog link here. Uh, okay, so you can paste that block link. I guess already did it. Be sure. Amazon. Okay, anyways, fine. So moving on. Now you see, like, uh, so many people face uh, while. Okay, so if you see that, suppose if you guys are developer or if you all, all are testers, so we we have like a lot of communication gap between developers and testers, right? So because we uh, nobody used to like the write, writing manual test cases but everybody used to talk about like, writing automation test cases automation is script automating the manual test cases then but then who will write the manual test cases who will write the english manual test case so for that we have introduced the crow path studio you need not to do anything whatever you were doing you keep doing that just a single click and everything it will do for you where it will help you like let me tell you some scenarios let's say suppose we all are testers and we are doing some testing of any feature and after 15 20 steps we got any bug and now to reproduce that bug you will have we will have to remind which all steps we were doing which all steps we followed and why we got this bug and sometimes it becomes really difficult to reproduce the issue because we we can't remember like uh, 10 15 steps all of them uh, all the times right and then again you will reproduce that bug then you will type uh, type manually like you will write it because you will have to tell it to developer you will have to share those test cases with the developer like look these are the steps to reproduce that issue i hope like everybody used used to do, do that way and if something some production bugs come then we don't have many times we don't have the proof like we have tested tested this but i'm not we are not sure why it got failed and that time we have to uh, like suffer our uh, we used to get scolded by the senior uh, folks and uh, like why this issue got failed you haven't tested this and then there are sometimes like developers if i'm a developer before uh, giving it for testing any feature we always do the manual test, uh, at least one round of functionality testing basic testing then only we used to give it to the tester but in that case whenever we explain as a developer to the tester that these are the steps you have to test while doing the testing when the testers used to do the testing they escaped the steps or they forgot because that's a human nature we can't remember everything what we used to uh, what somebody used to tell us so that's where we used to fall under communication gap and we used to uh, introduce or uh, raise the invalid bug which developer had to uh, make them uh, like debug that and then again make them invalid so all those problems considering all those problems we have introduced Kropati studio which will give you automatically the english test case manual test case which we call so let me show you how and how it will help you suppose uh suppose here in uh twitter we have to test the search functionality okay so what you have to do before just starting the testing just a single click you have to do here in Cropath logo, there is a Cropath logo on the top. You click on this Cropath Studio. Click to open Cropath Studio. That's all you have to do. Now you just do your testing. Everything Cropath will do. So here we'll let's say we have to search for Cropath. Click on search. Then let's say we click on latest. Then uh, then we click on people. Let's say then let's say we click here. Okay, so these many steps we have performed. Now you see, you can uh, open this group at the studio here. Let me do one more step. You right click here. Okay, 
So this much we have performed. These many steps we have performed. You see what all things we got. We opened the website. This website we, we are doing the testing. We enter the search. You see, hit enter, then click on latest, then click on pay, people, then click on Sanjay Kumar, this Krupath, and uh, right click on wherever we did the right click. So all those steps has been recorded like manually. You see, in, in plain English, it has been written for you. Right. So now, what you can do as a developer, you can click on save. You can share this test case with your testers before, uh, like, for testing. Like, look, you have to test. These are the steps which you have to follow to test this functionality. And you are free. And developer tester will not come back to you with any invalid bug. And if you are a tester, then you also like you test this functionality. And if you got any bug. You share this test case with the developer that look to reproduce this issue. These are the steps and whenever any bug comes in production or anything happen, you can always show this this as a proof that look this is. I have tested this test case scenario. These are the steps I have followed. So it is not uh, my issue or development. So there like you will not fight now. We will not fight with developers or tester will not fight with developer. Developer will not fight with testers. And now you see that lot more information here in this sheet. You can see all the steps are there. Data is there. And if you are an automation tester or you are writing automation script, you get the commands as well. Isn't it something amazing? You can just in single sort you can write the automation script as well. So basically you got the manual test case ready. You got the automation script ready. You got the data as well, whatever you perform. So everything is ready without putting any effort without putting any effort. You what you did you just Open the crow party studio. That's all you have done. Nothing else. You were doing the basic testing, whatever you were doing. So without any effort, you got the English manual test cases. You got the commands ready. You can if you want the X path only you can turn off the uh, command. You got the X path only here. If you want to change this command, you can change this command. Anything in, it could be in any language. I always saying that it is supporting all the language, all the framework, whether it is Python, Ruby or anything, C sharp dot net, whatever puppeter. Catalon Studio, Cypress, whatever you are using, it supports all those technology. So that's how you can use it. There is a shortcut as well. Click to copy all the steps. You click on this, and like you don't want to save the test case, you you just click on copy all. So that's how you can copy the steps. You see, you you click the and it got copied. If you want to copy these commands, you click on copy. The commands are copied. So that's how it saves a lot more time and help you a lot while doing the development and the testing. And there are like a lot more features which you can keep explore exploring and it will help you a lot and will save a lot more time for you while doing the development and testing. These are some of the achievements of Copath more than half a million downloads being used in more than 180 countries. It regularly appears as a desired skill and highest rated tool in its category more than like almost five star rated product developers testers calls it lifesaver yes of course it saves tons of time for you almost every company use it i will be present here in step in conference coming upcoming conferences here in india across india so if you are going to present there i would request you you come uh, you all all are welcome here. You can book the tickets on their website. Date, of course, gonna change because of Corona. And uh, yeah, thank you all. A special thanks to Ankit for hosting this webinar and arranging it successfully. You can uh, follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, reach out to me. Feel free to me. Uh, ask any kind of question anytime. Or if you have any feedback, any review, you can uh, ask me here or anytime, anywhere. Always welcome. I would request you all like share the feedback about Crowpath and uh, about this webinar on the LinkedIn and Twitter and share Crowpath with your friends so that they can get to know about this amazing innovation and it's absolutely free to download and use. So yeah, so over to you guys. I will be looking at the questions now. Yeah, I think if you can ignore my question. That would be fine. I just check that things right. So guys, uh, we already seen the Sanjay share all those things about the uh, crow part, right? So if you are an automation tester, right? So you can just go and just start using these uh, new features, the new 
the time saver i will say is the life saver i will say is for the automation tester right just start using that things and if you are a manual tester if you want to jump into the automation side right to learn the automation free of course then just come to my blog and just read the all the tutorials it is everything will be there over here you can learn the java programming python programming as well in the from the next month as well right so almost all the testing tool we have covered and i'm going to put the detailed tutorial for this acropath as well how we can use that so if you have missed anything right you can just go through that tutorial as well okay done so anything else that you guys want to raise as as like the questions to the sanjay or me then, then just put over here or we can just end up the meeting and i will just put this recording for all of you right so you can just watch it again and just get your question answered over there as well sanjay anything that you want to add at the end of the session uh yeah that's pretty much i guess and yes you can uh, subscribe to uh, this channel his channel anki's exactly. channel and there you will uh, see all the recordings and uh, upcoming tutorials very well uh, made by ankit and uh, i would suggest you guys do write about the, this webinar hosted by ankit exactly. and uh, share share about this uh, tool on the like in your linkedin and uh, like feel free to write any kind of feedback which you feel from this and whatever you learn from this so yeah and uh, i really appreciate for your time and uh, everything thank you thank you so much guys yeah if you have any exactly. question most welcome will uh, will be uh, we are live another 1 2 minutes if you have or else if everything is fine we can uh, wind up this session exactly guys so if you have any questions right after this session as well you can write it to me or i, I will share the detail of sanjay with you right you can also contact sanjay and me on the linkedin we are too much active on the linkedin on youtube on facebook everywhere right so if you face any difficulty to learning the things right or the anything on the testing side you can always approach to us we will definitely help you we will definitely guide you with our experience right and if you want to share any experience from your side or if you want to become a contributor for us right so just join our team we will do the webinar now on now onwards uh, mostly every two weeks right we will we will come up with some new ideas about the new tool, tools and technology so if you want to join the hands on that things then we are most welcome and you just share your feedback on the crow path on this webinar right on the play store or anywhere you whenever you use just use uh, just share your uh, uh, feedback to us so it will be very helpful for us to conduct the next webinar so i think sanjay uh, let's let's end up this meeting as of now and thank yep. you everyone for coming and your time right and hope you will say uh, stay safe at your home right and we will get really get back to from this corona situations and we will definitely have the uh the great future ahead in the automation side as well yeah okay yeah perfect take care bye thank you everyone thank you thank you bye bye